So we're in a spot we've camped in before. We camped here in June from looking back at where I've been camping. And I've been doing some other little videos. We came out here the other day to do some videos on some other things, little bits and bobs. And we decided we'd come out and do a camp here. It's just me and Peter today. He's over there getting set up. Put his tarp up and I'm going to set up here. There's a lot of people in this wood. There's a lot of shouting going on. So once it gets dark, that'll quieten down. So let's get set up. Every time I think I'm going to wake up back in the jungle. Every time I think I'm going to wake up back in the jungle. Out on a wild camp with Peter. AKA Peter. He's over there behind me. I will set up over here. Put the tarp up. He says he can feel rain. It's not forecast, but we've had it every time we go out. It's going to rain. It's not going to rain. Just put your tarps up, people. Don't mess about. Get the tarps up. Right. What have we got over here? We've got Peter. He's on the old Captain Morgan's. Might as well get on it. That's what we're out for. Having a good time letting her air down. Letting her air down. And then um, that's his setup. He's got the 4x4.5 Coyote Brown DD tarp. And then he's got the DD Frontline XL Multicam. A Jura 2 sleeping bag. A Jura 2 DD sleeping bag, XL. Yeah. And a under, under blanket from DD. I am running the same rig apart from my difference is the tarp. I've got the multicam 4.5 by 3 meter DVXL. Other than that, we've got the same kit. So I've just finished setting up. If you want to see the setup of how I set my tarp up and how I set my hammock up, they're different videos. I'll put links in for you. Didn't film it for this because everyone's seen that on the camp videos. <coughs> other people are interested in setup so I separated it right I think I'm gonna get myself a drink might make myself a nice cuppa if I'm honest got a little bit of brandy to put in it so let's do that it's a shame you couldn't come Dave next time mate just gonna take a small fire lighter place it in the middle like that I'm gonna strike it with my fire striker my ferro rod get that going got my coffee there Get some water in this cup, not too much. Straight on. I've done it inside this little tree area so the wind is protecting a bit from the wind. That won't take long to get hot enough to make a drink. Yeah, so. We've got the brew tree. Don't take much to get a brew tree. Does it? Right, I haven't got the mic on because I thought for the camp, I'm gonna wander around just chatting into this camera. I'm not gonna put the mic on because I've got to rig it. I can't be bothered. Right, so I go back to old school. Where you get a little bit of noise from the camera moving around and me holding it. How far you got down your bottle? Not too far, I'm going slow, saving it for the night, yeah. I like it. My mate bought me this from New Zealand. It's a striker and I've used it so much, I've nearly worn through it. He said to me, that's 3,000 strikes. And I said, yeah, well, I do, I do get on it. Hear the wind going through the trees now. See them all swaying around up there. It's 
not forecast wind, it's, it's forecast about 11 degrees with about a 10 mile an hour wind with, with gusts up to 20, 22. So it's not too bad. Yeah, there's a few trees here that have collapsed on top of each other. But they're not going to fall because they're still rooted. They're just, they're just leaning apart from one over there. He's rooted, he's growing, but he's leaned over a lot. Just gotta watch out, this is this is the hazards of um camping in a wood, looking up, checking what's above you all the time. There's a break off up there, so you can tell them because they've got dead leaves on them, but he's not above us. And if he fell, he'll fall down in between us. But he needs wind to fall. Meteorite shower forecast for tonight, but we've got overcast in the south of England, it's just gonna be cloud all night. So it's not even worth looking out for it. So this is that drink I started just now. It's starting to steam. So that's getting to the point where it's nearly ready to actually put a coffee in. There's no need to let it get to a boil, but I think I might because I'm going to put rum in it and I won't drink it that um, brandy. Sorry, I won't be drinking it that fast. My first brew of the camp. Nearly boiling that so I think we're ready to come off. So they've been on there a few minutes. I've just put the coffee in. So let's have a look. It's all gonna be burning for a little while look. That's a little um eco wood wool. Perfect isn't it? Cheers I won't I won't put my mouth on it because I've got a stainless steel cup but I know it's hot so I'm gonna let that cool off a second. Get a nice bottle of brandy out, eh? What you could do when you when you finish filming and you edit the film is you is, is it filming? Yeah. Is it picking up our sound? Yeah, it will. Slightly. What you can do is you can speed it up slightly so it's really fast sounding and and really, or you can just put music oh. over the wood. <laughs> set up on his own he doesn't come out that often so for him you know he's done well because it's not something he does all the time he's got tied off to everything he can find which is um within his natural habitat near him natural products is the way to go so he's tied off in three places to these trees that are down he's put his tarp out the ground sheet and he didn't peg it down because he's got some wide pegs and he couldn't get them through the holes so he's found a log and put on there stop any wind blowing it away he's got his sleeping bag in it's hard to see now because we're in the dark but well, I've shown him how to set up and he's using the techniques I've taught him because he, he was a bit of a novice and he doesn't really know what to do so he's just copied what I've said and he's having a, a good time it's a good setup as I was saying about the big trees in one of my videos, if you can't get your thing to strap, wrap around, wrap around, just go around once. He likes to double loop his, he double loops his ring. I don't do that, but he likes to do that. And then come down to your hammock. I don't know if I mentioned it in my video. That's a strange one. These middle loops, I've shortened mine by sewing them. So you end up with a short loop like this. He's come out here and tied off. I said to him he probably could have got around that tree actually. If he'd come that way a bit more. But he's pegged it. 
down there. Yeah, not a bad setup. If it rained and he wanted to collect water, he's going to find that most of his water is going to run out the centre here. So he could probably put something down below here to catch drips if he wanted to catch water in the rain. Drinking water, that is. Again, he's pegged out here. And he could have just gone around that tree with that, that guy line. But he's decided to peg out. I would have gone around a tree person and lifted it up so he had it, his tarp a bit higher in the middle. But this is his choice. Is everyone's to their own. I don't know if someone's been here and they've been eating sweets and they're throwing all the rubbish down. This isn't the way that we do it. I don't know why they're doing this. They're kids more than likely. But if I'm on a site and I find rubbish thrown down on the ground, I want to pick it up because I don't want to be look like I've done it. I like the area. I like this area a lot. I don't want to be the one that looks like someone comes along and says, oh, what's all this you've left? Now I'm risking my legs going down this hill to pick up their rubbish. It's everywhere. So I'll just pack that with my rubbish. So when it go, when I leave, I take it with me. Because I like to keep the place clean, especially if I've just arrived. Let's go over here and see how these brews are going and put this rubbish down with mine. Got a double brew on now. It's going quite well, but they're not ready yet. They're starting, they're starting to steam. I might drop my middle of my tarp later when I'm asleep but not obviously not when I'm asleep because that would be quite miraculous wouldn't it if I was asleep and I did it I might drop it down when I think about going to bed I'll tell you why I'll have it open now so I can sit and look out and look at the view but when I go to bed if the wind blusts up or anything it'll protect me a bit more from the wind if it's lower that's why and leaf fall see this leaf I've got a couple of leaves on there the steeper that is there's more chance they'll fall off when they fall on me so that's why I'd lower it down it's up at the moment because I'm being social I'm waiting for that brew to finish so I can be even more social and have a nice big brandy that's how you do it have a big brandy and be social with people mm. yeah that, here he is the Mr Social mm. Head torch. Um, so uh, finding your way back to the hammock. I'm gonna be stirring my um, little stirring knife. a spoon multi-tool. Dave's got a 360 camera, so when he comes out, he'll be bringing that. And when we do camps together, you normally see his. Um, he's got his video out as well, and it's on his channel, which I usually link to. Well, don't forget, he has a 360 camera. He's got a GoPro as well, I believe, but the 360 camera, you can actually click the screen and look all the way around and up and down. So if you see his videos, just check you can't, um, if you can click it because he's 360. And it's really, really good. I mean, it's nice to have that sort of like look around. If you see something, you think, oh, what was that? I missed it. Just grab, drag the thing back, drag the screen back. And if you've got a Gear VR headset and a Samsung phone, just watch it using that and you can just look around as like you're at the site with us. It'd be like this. Oh look, I'm looking over there and now I'm going to turn around. You'd get the idea. I'd have to explain it to you. Alright. Let's go see what the brew's doing. Trip over a guy line. I'm getting used to um, not tripping over guy lines. I know where they are, especially my own. Just knocked against the sticks and then you drop both the cups. That would have been a palava. Yeah, let them, let them heat up a bit more. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dig into that because the last one went cold and I had about half inch left because I didn't get it hot enough. So Peter hasn't even had a brew yet, he's just been drinking out the bottle. So we've got to slow him down.
last time we were there, we had a little fire down there inside the pit. But that was a bit of a, it was wet and it rained. And it was a bit difficult to get in and out of this pit down this slope. It's quite steep. But if we feel like it later, we will go down there and have a fire. Because down there, I know that you can still see the glow up in the canopy over there. But the chances of people coming through here at night is slim because we're right in the middle of the wood. There's a road through it, but at night it's just not used. It's uh, daytime activities people come out for. Saying that, on my last camp, we were all set up, gone midnight, and then this guy turns up with a torch and I thought, is that Dave? And he turns up and he's like, all right. And I'm thinking, that's not Dave. We're in the middle of a wood. He's like, all right. I'm like, yeah. And then he says, what are you doing? Well, I'm camping. All oh, right. Oh, okay then, mate. Well, I'm camping here as well. Are you? Where are you? Well, I'm just over there. Where? See that tree? I'm just behind that tree. Really? What? Yeah, I've got a camp over there. Have you? Yeah, he goes, I'm just a hop, skip and a jump in that bush. Then I thought, this is just not right, is it? So anyway, he just left. I went back to sleep, sort of thinking, this is not right and in the morning we went behind the bush he had a tent set up in there and a whole camp that's been there for ages didn't even see it it's just amazing and we he thought we was on our own he walked past Dave, didn't he? yeah and Dave had a set up Dave's setup was just like mine or Peter's and it was about as far away Camouflage. the guy walked past it he didn't even see him he saw me and he's like oh you're on your own I said no I'm with my mate he's just there he's like I didn't even see him he just walked straight past him he had a camo didn't he yeah, he's got the same um, tarp as me, the camo tarp, he didn't see it at all. So, goes to show how camo these are. Yeah, but the, the brown's still in the woods. I think you need to walk up on a setup like this to actually um, see it. If you're just wandering, it just blends in. Excellent, excellent cool. tarps. Cool. Yeah, as Peter keeps on telling me, the brown's good. The brown is good. When you look at the brown against the floor of the um, woodland, it's brown, so it does blend in. It's a good blended tarp. Mine, if I drop it, blends in more because the reason it doesn't look so good, when you're underneath, you get a lot of, a lot of brightness from underneath it. So if you come underneath my tarp and look up, it's really bright. But you come above it and look down, it's quite dark. And it really does blend into the ground. Love these camo, these camo multi-cam tarps. They're fantastic. And the brown. Oh, well, we've got a boil on, I think. Let's go over to the brew. Don't forget about our brew, do we? Yeah, it's about to start boiling. See that all going up? Steaming away. Leave that for another couple of minutes. Not in a rush. It's all night. Yeah, so this is our first October the 7th. October the 7th. Um, camp yeah it's the first time me and peter have been out together normally we have dave or or um i go out without him or he doesn't come for some reason but he wants to come and he doesn't come so this is our first first camp together so by the morning someone's gonna have a bloody nose <laughs> and we know it's not gonna be me oh, no, we have been a camp together remember um Oh yeah, we did, yeah, sorry, we have been out. We went out in August. Yeah, it's only a month ago, isn't it? Our first camp together. He just told me that, I just remembered. We went out in August. That sounds like rain. I was going to say leaf fall, but that's too... That's rain, it's raining. All right, I'm going to pull these... Yeah, it's raining. Can you hear it? Yeah. I'm going to... I'm going to pull these cups off and then we're going to get a brew on. I love this little system. I've got a couple of little burners, two logs, two cups, sorted. Just carry on having a little bit of a drink, which is down there.
gets raining quite a bit. You can hear. See if that makes it better. You can probably see me a bit better now. There it is. And we're going to have a little drink before we turn in. So we probably won't see you again into the morning. Small stuff like the stuff the car or something. Hopefully it'll get going. Burst into flame I hope. We've had the morning chorus, extremely loud. I think they were right above us some of them. Big crows by the sound of it. So I'm gonna gather up a little bit of wood, some birch bark here. Put some birch bark on it, get that to go, get a brew on chill out for a bit then look at packing down so yeah it's been a good night a good good um good chat for the night Peter got up and had a brew in the middle of the night come and chatted to me for a bit then he went back to bed finished off his rum and then went back to bed so yeah it was good it's nice to get out Too much rain after the downpour we had earlier on in the evening or late evening it went sort of well it's clear now i can see the sky but yeah it wasn't too bad it wasn't too bad it was nice though under the tarp with the rain right we're all packed up i've just packed down and um there's my kit ready to go back to the car here's where i was see where my feet went see what's pressed down my two trees that's where the fire was down there which has all been raked over and spread and put out and there's Peter he's just got to take his tarp down he's packed everything else up so we was just saying really enjoyable camp we had some rain it's always nice to have some rain you just hope that if you can get it to stop before you have to pack down so your tarp dries but just a little bit of water left on our tarps not a lot hang it when i get home but yeah what a lovely place a lovely lovely place to camp a bit sweating again it's not cold i mean people would say if you just come out yeah it's cold but you know you're working so it doesn't feel cold got the sunrise coming up got a photo of it as i was in the hammer because it was just just low in them trees over there so I'll put that in for you i think i got it i don't know why i just woke up looked saw it took the photo five ten seconds later disappeared i couldn't see it again so it was just luck good camp pete yeah, Looking forward to the next one already, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Looking forward to the next one. It's just the peacefulness. It's the peacefulness of getting out, spending the night in the woods. We had a full moon, so it felt weird. I opened my eyes in the night. It looked like someone had headlights on my tarp. It was so bright. It was really sort of weird, but then you could look around, you could see everything. Really nice. got a road over there it's not too far away but it does make a noise this is a popular wood it'll be quite busy later on today with families and dog walkers but it's you know why well, it's a nice wood people come here all right into the next one thanks for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe and tick on the bell to get my future uploads thanks a lot <laughs>